If you're new here, hello, my name is Becky. I'm in zone 9A. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got in the mail recently. I did buy these seeds. There was a sale of botanical interest. I don't know if anybody was able to catch that. I got Mysterium, uh, which I love growing here in the fall. They don't really like the heat as much, but I love growing them. They just make everything so pretty and they just flow right off the raised beds here. And also you can eat them. I mean, people, some people don't like the taste, but it's not too bad. Uh, the leaves. I bought some cilantro microgreens. So I definitely want to try to grow more microgreens and eat those. That's a goal for, for this growing season is to grow microgreens. So I bought those. I actually got these really big packs. I didn't realize how big, like this is a regular size and this is like a jumbo size. So it's pretty cool. I got sprout salad mix. Um, some more microgreens I'm going to try. I have here Ooh, I really wanted I love tea so when it comes to tea I, I definitely wanted to get my hands on some holy basil Tulsi Tulsi I think that's how you say it so I got some holy basil I'm super excited about I'm gonna try to grow I don't know if you can see this um, but chamomile that's the one thing I haven't grown successfully I had one little chamomile plant but it died in the heat. It was growing so well. I do want to not give up with chamomile because I'm going to do it one day. Stevia. I definitely am so excited to grow stevia. Got one of these. Amaranth, which I told you about that you can grow now in June. So definitely going to grow some amaranth. It's cute. They gave me like a little seed starting guide. Love it. Ooh, I really okay so I'm growing black eye Susans in my flower farm um, for cut flowers but black eye Susan vines like the black eye Susan vine up I saw that a long time ago and that that was the one thing that I really wanted to try to grow so I'm, I definitely had to get my hands on them when I saw them black eye Susan but the vining variety the vining variety so I'm excited to try those Snapdragons, they were like a couple cents. I couldn't, I should have bought more, but I got Snapdragons. Definitely gonna start sowing these around September, October ish. I've got more Shin Kuroda, Kuro I don't know if I say that right. Carrots, definitely gonna start carrots in the fall. Lettuce, Butter Crunch, can't get enough of Butter Crunch. Definitely start this in the fall as well. I got mini romaine lettuces that will also start in the fall. It's too hot. That's another thing I wouldn't grow right now is lettuce. I have some arugula, but it's bolting. So just know that it's really hot, even with 40% shade cloth. So definitely salad is a tricky one in the summer, unless you can, you know, get away with it, obviously. A scallop blend squash summer panty pan. I've seen these all over social media. And I'm a sucker. I just want to try to grow squash. This type of squash. And I got some lettuce mix for free, which that's cool. Artichoke Green Globe Improved. I want to try to grow some artichokes. Um, so I got some seeds there. And I want to make kimchi. Start making kimchi. So I got some cabbage napa one kilo slow bolt. So I'm going to start growing that. I saw a guy's, where did I see? I saw it somewhere, a guy's garden. It was just an Asian garden, just a bunch of Asian um, greens. And he was going through everything and telling you what he, what dishes he uses, his greens that he's, that he's growing in his garden. And one of them was, was cabbage. That's a huge, this type of Napa cabbage. That really inspired me to, to get some of those seeds. So that's it for botanical interest. I also got seeds from a local farm here in Tampa, a Whitman, yeah, Whitman Organics. I always try to get um, seeds from my local area. I also have a great blog post about seeds all over the country in your specific areas. It's a great resource. I'll link that to 
it has almost every seed company that is really well known and it's really important to obviously you know botanical interest is a great seed company but also supporting local small farms in your area if they sell seeds definitely get a hold of those especially if they have heirloom varieties so i bought their seeds shaman blue heirloom corn i'll put a picture up of what that looks like this is popcorn so i want to grow popcorn i failed corn if you don't know <laughs> saw that video uh poho berry cape gooseberry bought gooseberry seeds they're so small like they come in this little pack i don't know they're so small jamaican sorrel roselle which is one of the plants i said you can grow now Akiobak Korean squash. So this squash, I was doing some research and it grows well in the heat. And that was actually one of the things that that guy that I saw that video, I wish I had, I wish I knew where it was so I could link it for you guys, but he grew this squash and um, I'm hoping that it grows well here in Florida, Central Florida. Homestead Heirloom Tomatoes, Determinate variety. I'm growing some of those, so this is heirloom from Florida, so tomatoes, Florida, Florida Dade, heirloom determinate tomatoes, I got some of those seeds, Everglade cherry tomatoes, which is very popular here in Central Florida, very small little tomatoes, I got those seeds, and then Everglade, more Everglade cherry tomato seeds. So that's what I got uh, from Whitman Organics. Definitely excited to grow all these seeds. I grow most of my things by soil blocks. I'll put that link of that soil blocking video I made a while back. And last but not least, I want to grow pumpkins this year and be successful growing pumpkins. I failed last year, so I was doing some research and I was um, in my Facebook gardening group here in Central Florida. A lot of good advice from gardeners who've been growing here for a long time. And one gentleman mentioned this pumpkin that has been trialed in Georgia, University of Georgia, and they found that this was very prolific, grew well in the heat, and is very productive. And then he himself said he got a great harvest. He's in my zone, zone nine. And this is called Orange Bulldog Pumpkin Seed. So this is from the University of Georgia. So I bought them from the University of Georgia and it says here 92% germination rate. So I'm hoping to start these uh, this year and get a pumpkin harvest by fall. I'm gonna try to see if this works. So that is my seed haul. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll do a garden video tour what's growing now in my garden uh, by the end of the month so if you haven't subscribed please do that really helps me um, get the word out there of gardening and just motivating others to grow food i'll see you guys in the next one stay well friends